oftentimes you're gonna run into finding things that just don't look right. They're a little bit off. They're really, really cute maybe, but they just fit oddly. They're too long, they cinch in the wrong spot, they kind of droop or sag in weird places, and it just like doesn't look good. And unless you think about it, you might not ever realize why. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. In today's video, we are talking all about how to style a petite body type. Now I have done kind of like a part one to this video, but in that video, I definitely was more surface level. And in this video, we are going so much more in depth and I'm talking about fit, what to look for when shopping, what clothes flatter a petite body type best, how to find balance when it comes to styling, and then some just general tips, tricks, and hacks. I'll also be giving tips on how to style a petite busty body type based on my own experience with styling a petite busty body type. And I am so, so jazzed to share that today's video is actually sponsored by such an amazing brand. Petite Studio NYC is an amazing indie brand that is based in New York City that designs and creates beautiful high quality clothes that are specifically for petite body types. They're actually having a massive sale starting August 19th where they're having up to 70% off all of their spring and summer items. So if you do wanna shop them and check them out, now is like the time to do it because you can save so much money. And if you're a petite gal, you guys know the struggle of trying to shop. So now is like the perfect opportunity. So again, linking them below, definitely check them out. And of course, if you guys are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And with that, let's hop right on in guys. First things first, we are going to talk about balance. One of the most important things when it comes to styling a petite body type is balance. Learning how to style and balance your outfits is going to give you so much more diversity and versatility in what you wear. A good rule of thumb when it comes to styling any body type is if you're going to wear loose on the bottom, you typically wanna go for a tighter top. Likewise, if you're going to wear a looser top, you wanna to go tighter on the bottom. Now you definitely can go tight, tight as well and wear a tighter top and tighter bottoms, but when it comes to wearing a loose item on top and a loose item on bottom, typically that doesn't flatter most body types. Some examples of tight pieces would include tight tank tops, tight camis, skinny jeans, any sort of like more fitted bodycon style type of piece. Now some examples of loose type of pieces are flowy skirts, loose pants, palazzo pants, uh, flowy capris, peasant tops, anything that has bell sleeves, anything that is very drapey, flowy, has light fabric, big sweaters, and anything oversized. Some other good guidelines to go by are if you're going for a longer hemline to go for a more open top, for example, a maxi dress that is a longer length, but having a more open top or thinner straps is going to help balance it out. Vice versa, if you're going for a more uh, full coverage top, such as a turtleneck, it pairs really well with a shorter hemline, such as a skirt. Another helpful thing is having a skin break between your top and your bottom, so maybe a crop top, maybe having some sort of two-piece set. Whenever I wear a crop top, I always pair it with high-waisted jeans, so there is, you know, a little bit of skin showing. Just enough to where I have a little bit out, but not enough that I don't feel confident. And my last helpful guideline for balancing an outfit is to go for a lower neckline if you still want that definition, but again, don't want to be swallowed up by fabric. Keeping these formulas for balance in your back pocket is going to help you out so much when it comes to styling and it's going to ensure that you don't overwhelm your petite frame. All right, let's talk about shopping and finding things that actually complement a petite frame. So if you go to a regular store that does not have a petite section or does not specialize in petite clothing, oftentimes you're going to run into finding things that just don't look right. They're a little bit off. They're really, really cute maybe, but they just fit oddly. They're too long. They cinch in the wrong spot. They kind of droop or sag in weird places and it just like doesn't look good. And unless you think about it, you might not ever realize why. Basically, if you're shopping in a non-specialized store that doesn't carry any sort of petite sizing or short sizing, things are just going to fit odd. Some things that were always huge struggles when it came to shopping at regular stores. With pants, the main problem was always that they were just so dang long and I'd either have to roll them or cut them or hem them or something, but they were always so dang long. Then pair being short with having a short torso and things like dresses and rompers just never cinch in the right spot. They always are so long and then they cinch at my hips and it just looks bizarre and not good. And for a long time, I did not realize why. And then I had this realization and I was like, oh, that's why things look bad. I get it. And when it comes to shopping in standard or regular stores, sometimes you can make things work, but sometimes you just can't and things look weird and it's sad because you want to wear cute things and they just don't fit right on your body and you can't zhuzh things around and make things fit right. So it's really helpful to actually shop at a store or stores that either have petite sizing or just at a store that 
is specifically for petite frames. It is just like the most amazing thing to walk into a store and be like, oh my gosh, all of this is going to fit and look good. So as I mentioned at the beginning, Petite Studio NYC is the sponsor of today's video and finding them has been a game changer. Before them, I found out about them last December, which I've known about them for a while and I'm again, very excited to be working with them, but like finding out about them and finding out that there are stores specifically for petite frames was a game changer because dresses actually fit right and flatter, they're petite friendly and they just look good and the, the torso cinch at the right place, which I think was the biggest thing for me. Their pieces are investment pieces that are truly worth the money. Like they are wearable, they're durable, they're great quality and all of their pieces are definitely in a more capsule style wardrobe that you can mix and match with and things look good with each other. So you're really like making the most out of your wardrobe, getting the most bang for your buck. So some things to look for that complement a petite frame and not overwhelm it include. Midi skirts are amazing. The hemline falls just after the knee. So again, it doesn't overwhelm your frame. And a great way to balance a midi skirt is with a tighter top or with a tucked in top. Likewise, opt for midi dresses over maxi dresses. The shorter hemline is going to prevent you from drowning in fabric, looking shorter, but it's still going to get you that maxi dress style slash look. So again, look for a hemline that falls just after the knees. High-waisted pieces and pants with a shorter hemline, again, help balance everything out. And in some cases can provide faux height, which is always amazing when you're petite. Another fun thing you can play with is an asymmetrical hemline when it comes to skirts and dresses, because again, Again, it gives you that balance, but it also gives you a chance to spice it up a bit. Alrighty, let's talk about petite busty body types and how to style them. So petite busty body types, that's what I have. For the longest time, I really struggled with how to style it and what to wear, trying to figure out what kind of things looked good, but didn't look too risque. And overall, it was a struggle. It's still sometimes a struggle. So I wanted to share all of my tips on how to style a petite busty frame. The first thing is learning how to downplay your bust using the aforementioned techniques. For example, if you're going to go for a more loose flowy top that kind of just keeps your, your bust low key, go for bottoms that are tighter, that still accentuate your figure and show off your body. And likewise, if you are going for a tighter fitting top or top that has a lower neckline, you can balance it out with a looser fitting bottom. Number two, smaller prints and patterns help downplay a bust as well. Essentially smaller scale prints and patterns definitely just help minimize the appearance of a bust as compared to larger scale prints and patterns that sometimes just do quite the opposite. Thing number three that I think has been the most amazing and game changing of all of these petite busty styling tips is getting a good bra, like investing into a good bra that actually fits and flatters well. So all my bras are from this amazing undergarments company called third love. I've talked about them before. Fit so well, they contour to your body. They're comfortable, they're flattering, and they feel good. Like you just feel good in them. I am a 32 triple D, a 32 E at third love. Places don't really carry that size. It's a very odd specific size. And before when I was just buying random bras that were just like the best I could find, I always had weird problems with like cupping and spillage and things just fitting odd. And that always just looked really unflattering under clothing. And the number one majorly underrated thing when it comes to looking good and looking put together and looking just nice and well balanced and like you got it going on is good undergarments. And if you don't have good undergarments that fit well and that flatter you then whatever goes on top, whatever clothes you put on, is just not going to look good either. The next thing is finding flattering necklines. So necklines that I have personally found to be the most flattering are straight across necklines, slightly divoted necklines, which I'm sure has a more precise name than that, but you guys know what I'm going for. I'm giving you guys the visual example. V-necks and sometimes the occasional scoop neck, but it really has to like depend on where it hits and falls. And then a neckline that I just never, ever, ever find to be flattering with my petite busty frame is the boat neckline. It starts almost at your shoulders and then it kind of just goes across here. I always just think that looks not flattering. It makes me kind of look uniboobish. Really high neck lined, tight turtlenecks. Those also give me a uniboob. So again, those are my experiences, but they could be good guidelines for you guys. Finally, looking for styles like button ups that offer good coverage, but doesn't entirely cover everything up. Now I actually have a hack when it comes to button ups and a bustier chest because oh, the struggle of having a button up with a busty chest is just, it's the worst. So my hack is to go to a craft store and buy those little snappy clasps that you can buy for just a couple dollars, apply them to any sort of button ups, wherever in between two buttons you have that gaping going on and just attach the snappy clasp there. Having that additional clasp in between two buttons is going to prevent any sort of gaping. Yet again, another game changer. Now my final two last tips slash hacks that don't really fit into a category are one, dressing in monochromatic outfits. They offer length and faux height because everything is just all one color. And number two, for those purses with 
extremely long straps that make your purse go down to like your calf. Shorten that bag length by knotting the strap. And that concludes today's video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you've been struggling on how to style your petite body type, your body frame, I hope this video helped you out because for a long time, I did not know anything about styling petite body type. And that there were tips and ways to style my body type to actually look good and be flattered because things just didn't fit as well on me as they did other people. And for a long time, I was like really insecure. I thought like something was wrong with me. So I really just hope that in today's video, I helped you guys out in figuring out ways to style your clothes and to wear things and how to shop for stuff that fit well, that flatter you and that you feel confident in. If you guys have any styling tips of your own, leave them in the comment section because you never know who they might help. Again, a huge massive thank you to Petite Studio NYC for sponsoring today's video. And guys, I seriously recommend checking them out. They have such wonderful, high quality investment pieces that last you a long time because they're more classic type pieces. They're going to be timeless and last through trends. A lot of their pieces are more of a capsule style wardrobe. You can mix, match, make the most out of your wardrobe wardrobe with fewer pieces. So definitely check them out. Take advantage of that sale. Save some money. Now is the perfect time to shop. Create a wardrobe that you like, that you feel confident and comfortable in, and that is comprised of pieces that actually look good and feel good on you. Today's quote of the day was actually picked out by my husband. I had him go on Pinterest and pick me out a quote of the day because I wanted to mix things up. Today's quote of the day is by Vincent Van Gogh, and it says, Great things are done by a series of small things brought together. So think on that as we go into the week. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.